What's up guys? As you guys know, I am True Truist. Today we have a super, super important video. So make sure you guys go ahead and drop the like button and also to spread this video to as many people as possible in comment below in the comment section. John, just spam John, if we could get this video to like 5,000 comments and like 5,000 likes, I'm just going to go ahead and go nuts with giveaways over the next couple of days here. So, dudes, John and Jane Doe are confirmed by Roblox that they are actually just testing accounts and that we do not need to be worried about them. So this is actually really, really big. The thing is, the reason why I'm really pointing this out, and I know a lot of you guys are going like, dude, like we, we I've known this stuff, but the problem is I do not trust any other members of the, like I say, Roblox community simply because I wanted a public statement from Roblox themselves. So anyways, if you guys even watched my other previous videos, I said I cannot confirm or deny John Doe and Jane Doe are fake or testing accounts unless there's a public statement from the Roblox company themselves. And sure enough, Roblox listened to me and they made a public statement talking about John and Jane Doe. On the story, they say the real backstory of the John and Joe myths. So anyways, I'll read it to you guys. It says, for many years, there's been uh, lure circulating around John Doe and Jane Doe within the community. This year, we've decided that it's time to shed some light about these accounts who are John Doe and Jane Doe. Both John Doe and Jane Doe accounts were created by David Beswick and Erica Saul in the early days of Roblox for testing purposes. These dummy accounts did not belong to any one player and as such they were given a placeholder names John Doe and Jane Doe for Profile 1 and Profile 3. For all intent and purposes, both accounts are owned and maintained by Roblox. They cannot be used in any way to access or ban other player accounts, and they possibly harmless. We promise that they're friendly. You may even see John and Joe popping into a game sometime to say hello and wish everyone well. Clarifying John Doe and Jane Doe's friends, followers, and badges. A few years ago, we observed that some players could add John Doe and Jane Doe to their friends and follower list. On the Roblox or Ward, these test accounts with badges. We've since disabled this ability. In the following weeks, we will be clearing out both accounts from any friends or badges that were added involuntarily, and John and Jane Doe will also be outfitted with a new set of Roblox branded clothes. So, anyways, they also said protecting your account, authentic John Doe and Jane Doe accounts pose no danger to your Roblox account. Still, we always encourage players to proactively defend their account by setting up a two-step verification using a strong password that cannot be easily guessed. And then they have more information about exactly this thing. So we've dedicated to building a fun, safe environment where kids of all ages can power the imagination on Roblox. We hope that this blog post helps to put an end to the misconceptions about John Doe and Jane Doe that all inevitably. So any concerns or worries, consider this myth busted. So that's crazy. Roblox actually listened to the community and they made a public statement saying that they are in fact just test accounts and we should not be worried about them, which is awesome. I know for a fact, like, I was making a ton of videos, and the thing is, what really still haunted me until this actual story got released was that this, all of this craziness, none of it was confirmed. And I honestly think that the Roblox themselves, the, the makers of Roblox, the Roblox company, really messed up for this community. I honestly think they should have made this statement way before March 18th. They knew that everyone was going to be playing Roblox on March 18th, and they also knew that this myth was super, super old. Why didn't they crush this myth before? Did they really, really think that they really wanted to help the community? Or, I mean, I know for certain there's a lot of people out there that were very freaked out, including myself. I encountered some very weird things, a lot of trolls on my streams. But overall though, I'm just a little bit concerned with the Roblox community management. I don't know why they didn't squash this bug a long time ago, but they actually waited till after March 18th, which was supposedly the big hacking day for John and Jane Doe. However though, I know there's still some John Doe and Jane things, um, like kind of like creepy. I know for a fact 
that I still have some answers to this whole John Doe and Jane Doe stuff, and there's a lot of questions that I still have regarding some of, of the other accounts. Obviously, you guys already know about Greg. I know for a fact that this whole Greg thing is not related to John Doe in any means. I actually talked to Greg a couple of days ago, and I'm going to be uploading that video quite shortly in some time here. So keep an eye out for my channel, and then he actually confirms in the conversation that I'll be releasing later on that John Doe is fake. And this is crazy because I actually knew this before this article got released. I don't know though, which is really weird because yesterday he was actually online, which did not match up with Greg's conversation at all. I had no idea that John Doe and Jane Doe were actually gonna be online. I don't think anyone saw that coming. And right when I saw that, I first thought it was like someone hacked the accounts. But then the fact that they actually released this statement really squashes the bug on the entire thing. So anyways, I believe we are all safe from John Doe and Jane Doe unless someone tries to be fancy with it and they decide to actually go ahead and start hacking again or something like that. But I doubt it's going to happen. I got a feeling that the Roblox are really going to, or the Roblox makers are really going to lock this account down and make sure that no one can actually hack the John Doe and the J Doe account. So Anyways, though, that's kind of my two cents. There's still a lot of mystery behind Greg. I still believe that there is still some very, like, actually brutal activity that's still going on in the Roblox community. I'll be talking about that later on. And there's some crazy, crazy stories that are still brewing up that have nothing to do with John Doe or Jane Doe. March 24th is coming up, obviously, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to be happening with that. I mean, I mean, if the Roblox community management was smart, they would completely put an end to the March 24th thing now, they probably should be releasing a statement if any of this stuff is in fact false. But until then, until proven by the community management, March 24th is still a very scary time for the Roblox community, and I'll keep you guys updated. But anyways, my name is True Triz. Have an awesome day, and remember, stay true. Peace.